Do you want to know more about Mercury? Well, if you do, you're in the right place. I'm David, welcome to Astrofocus, where we explore the universe in great detail. Mercury is a dark grey planet and is the first planet from the Sun, orbiting at an average distance of 58 million kilometres, which is a roughly a third of the distance from the Sun to Earth. Not only is it the innermost planet, but it's also the first of the rocky planets, which includes Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. And don't worry, we're going to cover the rest of the planets in further episodes of the Let's Visit series. Mercury is the smallest planet, with a diameter of 4,879 kilometres. This makes it about two-fifths the size of Earth. Although that is still extremely big, in comparison to other objects in our solar system, it's quite small. For example, there's moons such as Ganymede and Titan, which are the largest moons in our solar system, that are larger than Mercury. And because Mercury's small mass is contained inside of a tiny body, the planet is the second densest in the solar system, having a weight of 5.426 grams per cubic centimetre or 98% of the density of our planet. Mercury has the weirdest orbit, having the most elliptical orbit in our solar system. Mercury has a perihelion of roughly 46 million kilometres and an aphelion of about 70 million kilometres. As I'm sure you know, one year is the time taken for a planet to orbit the Sun, and one day is the time taken for a planet to rotate on its axis. So as I'm sure you know, Earth's year is 365.25 days, and one Earth day is 24 hours. Mercury's year is 88 Earth days, and Mercury's day is about 59 Earth days. Once we found this out, we realised that Mercury's day is two-thirds of its year. This is no coincidence. The gravity on Mercury is not very strong. This is because it's a small planet. The surface gravity on Mercury is less than the surface gravity on Earth. The surface gravity on Mercury is only about 38% of the surface gravity on Earth, meaning that if you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh only 38 pounds on Mercury. And because of this small gravity, Mercury can't hold on to an atmosphere. And the sun's solar winds don't help with this either, because any atmosphere is quickly blown away by them. This suggests that there is almost no air on Mercury. Mercury's interior is similar to Earth's in the way that they both have a crust, mantle and core, but there are also differences in their interiors. Mercury's surface is similar to our moon because it has the same flat terrain and is filled with craters, but Mercury's interior is more similar to Earth's than the moon's. At the centre of Mercury is the core. The core is a ball of liquid iron and other metals, measuring approximately 3,600 kilometres across. This is extremely large for a core and takes up about 42% of Mercury's volume. Compare this to Earth and our core only takes up about 17% of our volume. After the core is the mantle, which surrounds the core. Like Earth's mantle, Mercury's mantle consists of silicates. The mantle isn't as large as the core, as it's only 500 to 700 kilometres thick. Compare this to Earth's mantle, which takes up for most of the volume of the planet. Surrounding Mercury's mantle is its crust, an area of the planet that measures 100 to 300 kilometres thick. Considering that Mercury is remarkably close to the Sun, you would predict that the side facing the Sun would be incredibly hot. And you'd be correct. The unusual fact though is that that's not even the hottest planet in our solar system. The hottest planet is Venus, which we'll talk about in the next Let's Visit episode. Since Mercury has hardly any atmosphere, it doesn't have weather like storms, clouds, winds or rain. The side not facing the sun is extremely cold, reaching temperatures of minus 183 degrees Celsius, and the side facing the sun reaches temperatures as high as 430 degrees Celsius. Hopefully you now know much more about Mercury. Right now, I just want to take the time to say thank you. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.